All right, thank you. So you click on proceed, right? Then this is where you have your current liabilities. Any current liabilities you have, you add it to your record and you click on proceed as well. For long-term liabilities, if you have any form of long-term liabilities as well, you click on you add it here. It could be any of these things, long-term finance, um, director's loan, loan, of, loan over a year, deposit of shares and the likes, you add it and then put the amount and then you click on proceed. So this is where we have the capital structure, that is the ownership side of the business. So you put your equity um, figure and the likes, you add it as your record and click on proceed. So if you have any reserves, reserves, I mean like retained any and like what have you that you have share premium, statutory reserve, general reserves, and all of those things, you add them to your record here and click on proceed. All right. So this is where profit adjustment will come. So let's say in your competition, your CIT competition, you have some adjustments, you have added back your depreciation, you have added back your amortization, you have added back um, unrealized foreign exchange gain, you have added back a lot of adjustments. You need to come and record them here as well because the system will only capture depreciation, amortization, and depression, right? So any other desirable expenses that you have that the system could not capture, you need to what, put them here. So once you once you added them, once you have added them, click on proceed. So somebody was somebody was asking me um, for um, let's say you have disposal the other time. So this is where your disposal you will come right. Like any asset that was like that was disposed and like if let's say you have as a result of the disposal you have um, balancing allowance or balancing charge and like so you record them here the assets name the description and the adjusted amount and like you add them as records and you proceed. The person that was asking me the other time should just take note of what I'm saying. But um, for a year now, this company, they don't have any, they don't even have assets. So they don't even have anything that they want to even dispose. So I just click on proceed. And then, okay, the company made a loss. That's why it's just appearing here. And then I'll click on proceed. Right. And then, yeah, it will come up. So now let's say, um, Let's say, let's assume that this company, they have assets and they have capital allowance that they need to claim and they like, or they have additions. And then there's some, maybe they, let's say they, are, they bought plants and equipment. Don't forget that um, office equipment, plant and office equipment are subject to what? Investment allowance. And investment allowance is as what? At 10%. So the system will not capture investment allowance. The system will expect that you put the investment allowance on any additions you have yourself. So this is where you do that. Let's say you, you, you acquired um, office equipment now of 1 million, right? So you need to come here and put it here that, okay, we have investment allowance to claim um, on the amount, like you put the amount and then you add it as record, right? So the system will automatically calculate the investment allowance rate on it and then you get your what investment allowance for that particular asset that was um, acquired, right? So since in this scenario, I don't have, so I click on what, proceed. So, and I'm done. So all I just need to do is like check my company's income tax form if it aligns with my competition. If it does not align with my competition, then there's a problem somewhere, right? So now let's 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 look at it one after the other. This is the this is the um, what I've inputted on tax form that I want to submit, right? Uh, well, I've not submitted it yet. So so now let's check what's our operating. I mean our profit before tax. A profit before tax here, per what we have reported is what minus two million six two eight four forty, and in my computation, where is that computation again? So in my computation here, my profit before tax is what is this? So that one is correct, right? So I can let's look at the next thing. So let me check my accessible profits. Where is it? 
And the able profit here is what? Minus two million, blah, 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 two, blah, blah. So let me check my computation. Is it the same thing? So it's the same thing. So these are things you should actually take note of when like filing. You need to ensure that, okay, your accessible profit aligns with what is on your computation. Your profit before tax aligns with what is in your account and in your computation. You need to confirm that, okay, your net asset is the same thing as the net asset in your account. The total liabilities, the total, total assets, total current liabilities, like all those key things, you need to confirm that they align right before you submit. Right. You also need to confirm that because there are some times where I've been I've experienced a lot of situations whereby a company will not even make up to 25 million and a turnover and tax commerce will be calculating CIC on it, which is wrong. So all of those things you need to take note of it. Let's say for instance, now, the tax commerce system now is calculating CIT on company that, is, that does not even have any revenue, then you should know that something is wrong. You need to like go and fight with the tax authority on that. Or let's say this company now they made a turn another turnover of um. 10 million, which is below the threshold, and they are now calculating CIT on it. You should know that you need to go and box them at the tax office. That why is this system calculating CIT on something like that? So, those are key things you should take note of. And like, so you can see that the company is not liable to PTF, uh, minimum tax, um, and the likes because they don't even have to profit. Maybe somebody that has to profit that you say you want to calculate all of those things on, right? So, the only penalty, the only thing that they are liable to is what is the LRP. And the system has already calculated that out to what seventy five thousand, which is the same as um, what I already did manually with my own computation here, right? So just for you to know that everything aligns and everything is intact, right? So once you are done, you are assured of what you have imputed. You click on declaration and then you submit. But I don't want to do that yet because I still want to look at it one more time. Please my colleague, right, to be sure so that, um, but I'm already sure that this is fine and I can also easily click and submit. But that is just to run you through how to um, file your CIT returns. This is quite easy. There are some, comp there are some companies that hmm, their CIT returns is always like a whole lot, especially if they have a lot of additions in the course of the year and the capital allowance will be stressing you. So you need to um, be very conversant with all of those things and how to like do them. But with this, I'm sure at least, if not, if not um hundred percent at least, yeah, yeah, I can see a sixty percent. I'm sure of how to like file CIT returns on tax commerce, right? So, so that's for CIT returns. My time is running. I just have like twenty minutes more. So now let's go to um withholding tax. Yes. So now for withholding tax. Um, your withholding tax will always appear under your what group taxes, right? That is where we do anything withholding tax, it will appear under your what group taxes, and anything withholding um value added tax to your retail VAT, it will appear under your what group taxes, stamp duty, and the likes, it will appear under your what group taxes, right? So, I want to <clears throat> I want to find withholding tax, right? And I've realized that most of the times people used to have challenge when it comes to how to upload the schedule on tax commerce. Um, it's always saying error. What's the, app, what's the issue? Every time I try to upload, it's always saying error. Error 101, error this and that, and the next, like, what, what could be the cause? So a lot of things could be the cause, right? If you don't follow the template, if you don't follow the format, the way it has been um, expected of you to like follow it, right? On my LinkedIn page, I've posted a lot of articles on how to like guide people and uploading their schedule both for LIRS and both for FIRS without encountering any form of error whatsoever. Once you read that article on one at a glance, you definitely get it. So that's just by the way. So if you want to upload your withholding tax schedule now, you come to withholding tax. Don't for, mind you, we have to I'm coming. Mind you, we can see two types of the withholding tax. We have withholding tax, WHT. We have withholding VAT, withheld VAT. So the, if it is withholding tax, you come to withholding tax. If it is withheld VAT, you come to what? Withholding VAT, right? So now we are coming to withholding tax because it's withholding tax I want to do, right? So you click on your currency, you um, you click on the withholding tax type, right? So we have two categories here. We have the dividend and interest, and we have the what others. So let's say you want to pay withholding tax on maybe bank interest, or dividend of um, directors or 
the likes. That one will fall under this what dividend slash interest, right? So let's say you want to pay withholding tax on let's say contract and services, on professional services, on blah blah blah, like other things, right? You pay for what others, right? So before you even do all of these things, you need to um download your sample templates. Down, click on download. Once you download it, uh, I'll open it. Once you open it, it will it will come up like this and the likes. So, so all you just need to do is to what your, to populate your 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 schedule, right? Let's say I have um. So I'm trying to like just form something to upload because I will, not, I will definitely not, pro, not, not proceed, but just for you to like have an idea of how to do this. So let's say I have added that your ADBC limited. I'll put the name of the, let's say I'm dependent, I added that ADBC limited. Let's say my TIN, maybe I don't have TIN, I put zero. Date of service rendered 30th 04, 2022. Service rendered, still the same service rendered. Let's say the transaction amount is 100,000, right? And the returns, the total tax rate is what, 5%? The total tax rate. So the tax amount should be what, 5,000, right? Reference, schedule reference. I just put zero there. I don't have anything to put there, right? So don't forget to remove this one that is already part of the template. So I just delete it. Like once you delete, it. let me add another one. I can add um, um, accounting of limited um, TIN. Let's let me just form something. Let me just form one TIN. Though the system will say not much. The system will say not much because it's not correct. Oh, So let's say this amount is um, 100,000 still. Let me see 1 million. Five. WHT, that will be what, 50,000, right? So let's say I'm done, I'm done, I'm done, I'm done, I'm done, right? So stuff that um, this um, customers will not accept is if you put, you're trying to like put comma, in your thousands, let's say you are doing something like this, the system will reject it, right? Those are things you should take note of not to do. You are putting comma in your, in your amounts, like you are doing, trying to like put comma, it, the system will reject it. So let me undo that, right? Or you leave something blank because maybe I did that your ADBC limited does not have TIN. Do not, you don't have to put anything there, you just left it blank like this. The system will reject it. So it's better for you to like put zero if you don't have the details of that particular um, beneficiary, you just put zero rather than making it blank. Right. So what else? Also follow the dates, transaction date format. You can see that it's what day, month, and year. And it's slash that is J. You know, it's now it's different from um this. It's different. So like this format is different from this format. So you should follow the format as it is on the what on the template. So let me do that. So the service rendered, <coughs> put it there as well. So yeah, I think that's all. Also, another thing you should take note of is 
you need to know the number of days in a month because I, I, there, there was a time somebody like reached out to me on LinkedIn that ah, she has been trying to upload that with all the tags schedule and it's not going and it's not going what's happening at the end of the day the only mistake i saw in what she did was that she was trying to like upload for february she was not putting her date of transaction as what 38 february like 30 02 2023 in my mind i was like february is not up to 30 days so this thing will never go with like like this so you need to be conversant with the number of days in the month like, <clears throat> sorry Somebody trying to say something there. Hello. Please, can you hear me? Hello, can anybody say something so I can confirm that I can hear you? I can hear you. I can hear you. I can hear you. Okay, okay, okay. Thank you. Yeah, we can hear you. Okay, thank you, thank you. So, um, like for instance, now April, we all know that April is 30 days. So you cannot come and tell me that 31 slash 04 slash 2023 is for April. The system will reject it. So all of those minor, minor things you need to like be conversant with it. What I'll just do, I'll copy this, what I've populated on the schedule, right? And I'll paste it on a new sheet. That's what I used to do, because I always like to like use my own sheet. Paste it on a new sheet like this, and then I will save it. So most of the time I'll save it as uh, I can just save it as um, FIRS WST upload. Right. And I'll save it. Right. So I'll save it like that. So let me exit this page. So now I'll now come to tax commerce to so upload it. So because it's um I'll click on orders because it's not the that. Please, can I press him mute himself or herself? Please. Thank you. So I'll choose on, I'll choose the one I want to upload. This is it. I just saved it now. So I will upload it and click on what? Repeat. So now it's telling me error. What kind of error is this? I don't know. But let me try to like upload it again if it will go. I think you have to save it to say CSV or something like that. No, 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 that's for LIRS. For FIRS, you save it um, on, on the Excel. Let me check what I did again to be sure of. So I'm suspecting whether it's because of this CIN I formed, because this CIN is, is somehow. But then let me let me try to like. I'm suspecting that. It's okay, this you mean that if the CIN is not correct, it won't go through. So this one I just formed it. This one is not like, it's not CIN. It's not there's no there's no CIN like this. Let me even try and take it on the CIN verification button. Not nothing will come up for this at all. Let me See, there's nothing coming up for this. So let me try to like <coughs> change the chain. Let me use zero and see what to go. Sorry, Mr. DBC. Hello? Sir. Hello, Mr. DBC. Yeah, I'm with you, sir. Yeah, please. You said something. So probably it scans the file. It scans the Excel file before it approves it, right? Yes, yes, yes. OK, thank you. Yeah. I'm, I'm changing the TIA now to zero. Let's see if it will go now. If it didn't go there, there's something else is wrong. Because... What's wrong? Hmm. 
my time is running, my time is running. The service vendor. Always let me let me try to like form a good company. Let me see, I can't. Uh, um, Well, wow, it's still not going. So let me try to like see um use one I've uploaded before that I went through if it will go. And if it did not go, that means the issue is from tax format. So there's one I've done before. Um, hello, sir. Yes, sir. That square friends. Can you change it to numbers? Let's see whether it works. No, no, no. It's, it's, it's always uh, it's zero I use, and it will definitely go. So okay. it cannot be that one. So let me just try and upload something I've done before for a client. Uh, OK. Let me generate it into the list of what I've done. So if this one did not go, I miss the issue is on tax pro max. So this one will. Hello, sir. Yes? Okay. Uh, I think you delete all those empty cells. Delete it downward. Go to the S stream. So can we see the one that you uploaded? The way it looks like, so that we know where this came. So let me let me try and so let me try it again for the last time. Trying to open it. So these, these are issues taxpayers face. So, I mean, tax consultants face and yeah, taxpayers too. So just for you to know how frustrating it can be. So delete, delete the, all those empty cells and uh, delete, delete it downward. There's no empty cells here. Like, I can't there's, delete everything. Now. Yeah, oh, 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 there's nothing to delete here. From tax downward, they're empty. Just try to delete it. Uh -huh. Then to shift delete, it will clear it. Eh? So let's see what starts to have us. Do. Okay, great. So it has that's gone through now. So because thank you for the um for your suggestion, everybody that contributed. So because um I didn't put anything in, it should definitely say no match. It should definitely say no match. Or if you should put a TIN that is not for that particular beneficiary, it will definitely it will bring up the name of another beneficiary, something like that. So you need to ensure that, okay, the time I'm using matches with my beneficiary. And you need to ensure that um, you are using the correct time. So most of the time, what I do is when my client sends schedule to me, I will try to like verify the TIN on teen verification portal. Or if they don't send TIN to me and they send the company's name to me. So I can easily say, okay, let me go to CAC portal and search for that company. Let's say they sent one company that they will know. Let's say they sent any company for instance maybe uh, i'll just search for the company if i should see the company on cac let's say they sent aiko insurance to me for instance now and i don't have their tn all i'll do is okay let me search for aiko i'll copy and paste the rc number to go and use it to search for their tn on 
the team verification portal. So I'll just come here, I'll click on I'll see searching, searching by RC number, click RC, and then I'll paste the RC number and search. So once I search, it will bring the ATI in for me. So I can easily use the ATI to like to populate my schedule and the like. So these are stops I do to ensure that I'm not posting the wrong thing on tax promax. So, so that's all for withholding tax, right? So I'm not going to proceed because this thing is just testing. So going back. So that's all for withholding tax. So I've been able to cover withholding tax, VAT, and then CIT. So I want to move to LRS side now for withholding tax because you know withholding tax is it could either be to LIRS, I mean to the state internal revenue service, or to the federal revenue service. So it is to the federal revenue service if it is um, companies. It is to the state internal revenue service if it is for business name, for individual, for partnership business. My time is gone already, so um, I want to wrap up in the next five minutes. Sorry to ask. You. Sorry so. To ask you. Let's let's move to let's 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 say I want to um, upload my utility tax for LIRS. Can, we so can you mute yourself? Or... So I'll just log into my portal for LIRS. I'm sorry, I'll be I'll be major, I'll be focusing on LIRS here because um, we are in Lagos State. Let me put it that way. So I'll come to generate slash POB click on it, right? I'll click on my tax office. Let's say my tax office is through the tax office, right? The select revenue, what, what kind of revenue, what kind of, what, what do I want? Is it payee? Is it like returning tax? I just click on returning tax. Is it returning tax on commission, on bonus, on building, on consultancy, on contract, on director fee, blah, blah, blah. Click on it, let's say it's for consultancy fee. And then what, for what period? The period is, okay, by May, definitely the period will be for, for April, right? Click on April, end it to is what's April, right? Then they also have a template that you need to like populate. You click here to download the template. Once you download the template, you open it, right? Once you open it, um, still loading. So once you open it, you have your item to populate. So you have your um, taxpayer number, the amount, and the name. So let's say the name is PWC. The amount is five thousand, and the, maybe just the, the PID is C. Can you You put it there, right? And then you save it, and then you upload. Mind you, for LIRS, you save anything as whether it's for annual returns file or for pay annual returns file. Anything you are doing for LIRS, you save on what on CS as a CSV file or else the system will not accept it. So I'm not saving it because I'm just like testing myself here. So once I'm done saving it, I'll choose the file and then I will upload, right? So once you upload, <clears throat> me, I always like to put narration of whatever it is that I'm doing so I can say, okay, it is April 2023, WHT on consultancy, right? And then I'll generate, I'll click on generate, then it will pop up the words the view reference for me, I'll download it. If I want to pay online, I will pay online as well. So that's basically it for withholding tax as well. Withholding tax is, is of course, like my um, brother said earlier on, it's an advanced form of paying your income tax return because whatever credits you get here, you can easily use it towards to offset your what, income tax liability at the end of the day. That is why most people always chase for their, ah, I want my credits note, blah, 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 blah. So that's that for withholding tax. So um, I would like to stop here. I, I believe I've been able to like offer value to everybody uh, in the little time I have. So um, thank you so much. So I'll still be around for question and answer so that I can like talk more on areas that needs concern. Thank you. So is um um is Teba in the call? I'm not sure. 
I'm not sure he's on this call. He's not on the call. He's not on the call. Oh, okay. I think he's having network issues. So can we start rolling in our questions? Okay, yeah. Yeah, in, yeah, in the meantime, let's let's uh, let's have questions then. Or I don't I think my other point, my other brother oh, is here. Do you want to go now? Uh, yeah, good evening. Oh. Thank you very much. Hello, good evening. Yeah, good evening. Thank you. Good evening, sir. Yeah, please, am I being held? Yes. Very clear, sir. Okay, okay my name is um, yeah, my name is John Bernard, and um, I'll be taking I'll be I'll be taking you on um, PE, the registration, computation, and um, filing. So That's since um, hello, you don't use our work. Hello, please, can you mute your mic? Sorry. I don't know. Um, um Mr. Time, but please can you can you enable me to 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 share my screen? Um, you don't see any fault. Okay, like, sir. Okay, sir. Okay. 